Minecraft. Uh, here's just a, a brief little intro video on how to use the Minecraft education version uh, launcher and how to set up some servers and to get your students making and creating some really fantastic things in your classrooms with Minecraft. So before you launch the Minecraft Education Edition, obviously you need to set up the server. So we're going to launch the server app and just have a look at some of the functionality that you can actually do there. So you can you know, go through tutorials, you can look at all these save worlds that you've got, you can actually get into some fantastic um, Minecraft world library and so you can get, download some different worlds that are around there that other educators around the world have created. So you can have a look at that if you want to and just download those maps and you could load those directly up. There's some fantastic things. I've used some of these as well um, uh, in, in the work and I'll show you if you look down on the blog post you'll see the artworks uh, sculpture park that we made which was just downloaded a map from there. Um, so you can see it's going back to there. So let's go back to this, the server. Uh, we're going to create a new world though for this one. So once we create a new world and you can see you've got plenty of awesome things that you could actually download and play around with. There's a lot of people around the world who are making some really fantastic things in different classes as well. So you can see the Minecraft Education World Library. There's a whole range of things in maths and science and technology, uh, even within the arts that you could actually search for and have a look at what they're doing if you want to get into that part. But we're gonna make a some structures. Let's get animals in there, of course. And we're gonna start the new world server. And so once you've got the server up and running, you'll get another launch screen. And once that launch screen's there, we can add some options to our map. So the first one we're gonna call it is test two. And we can go through our tabs and look at obviously some of, we can set a little welcome message to the kids, students when they come in, welcome to our awesome Minecraft classroom. And we can have some message of the day. Happy building. And so we save and save. We've got that. We'll come in when the students come in. Um, we can have different, obviously, game mode. We can make creative, or we can actually have some of the more controlled um, game modes of the education edition. So we can turn off night. We can take away the weather effects, we can take away the monsters, you know, generate structures, obviously we want those things in there. You know, if you want the nether um, and things on those lines, if you want to bring those other dimensions in, let them go crazy, absolutely. You can have some player settings, and I'll, I'll show you these when we're actually in the game, but you can freeze and mute students, you can allow them to respawn, sometimes the kids get stuck in little um, bits, and so they can teleport port themselves back, and there's another really good one if they get um, stuck in different parts, really useful part of there. We can give certain elements to students, but we can actually set some assignments. So we can set tasks in here. So students will do that. So we'll just say some random ones, build a house. You can have some assignments in here and some structures um, that the students would do uh, for whatever task, the learning task that you're after them to do. Uh, build a tree house. And so we've got some of those there, but we can have a look at them when we're actually in that area as well. Uh, use control, we don't need that. So we're gonna have this map as test two. Save the map. Okay, so save successful. So once we've got the map there, we actually have to leave this running. And I, I usually just have it running off my uh, MacBook. And we, we played over Wi-Fi with no issues. Uh, with the students, I had about 20, usually have about 25 students connecting. Um, on laptops um, easily with not an issue. So it's just important that we actually look at that server address because that's where the kids will actually connect to um, the game when they're coming in. So we'll go back to Minecraft Launcher and we're going to start the Minecraft Education Edition. We're going to launch and from there we'll get another dialog box that will allow us to get into Minecraft and start playing because we've got this server up and running the servers running off my laptop and We'll see all those little things that we've set the task the welcome message um, In there and I'll show you when you go in as a student. So we'll go in as a student first And let's get a 
a little bit large, so we we'll see. So we'll go in as a student, mail, click continue, and this is exactly what the students will see. And we'll go in as obviously a multiplayer. We're gonna go direct connect, and we're gonna look for that server. So obviously the server address is there. We're just gonna direct connect into it. And I am a student, and the students can cycle through different characters, little skins they want, and we're gonna get in. So once we're in, and you can see, welcome to our awesome Minecraft classroom that's come up straight away. And you can see there's two assignments that I need to do. So the students can come through and once they've marked is complete and we can go through. So build a house, build a tree house. And so once they've clicked on those things, they're done. And there's all the, all the same options that they have in the Minecraft world that they can go through and start creating and making. So if you download those maps that you did, as I showed you at the starting point, you could create those and make some fantastic little uh, worlds that are pre-made. But let's log out and have a look um, if I go in as a teacher. So we'll direct to connect again and you'll see some of the difference. So you set a master password that only obviously you know and I can log in as a teacher. And so when I come in, I can get some a few more options if I click P and you can see 100% of students have already built that task. I could look at that. I can have a look at makes me invisible so no one can see it so I can actually have creative mode only to me and I can actually do a, a whole range of things so if I go into creative mode obviously I can double tap and have all those awesome creative little parts um, that only I would have so by pressing P we can go through we can enable all those different things that we saw we can freeze the students I can keep inventory, I can allow them to respawn, I can have all those settings in there as well. Uh, we can search for players that are specifically there and see them, obviously no one's on. Look at the assignments and, and what they are. I can add more assignments in here if I need to, directly in and save and that'll come up through. I can give different items to people, etc. There's obviously only one player connected um, there's no teleport stations in the world, but we can have a look at build mode so we can play around with all these different settings when we're actually in here as well. So that's a teacher view of Minecraft EduCreations and it's obviously also a student view when you're using it. So get to creating. I guess the big thing too is to have a look at online when, we're, when you have the opportunity to. That's where I started off on. Just going to Minecraft, obviously Minecraft education, so education, sorry, dot com, and have a look at some of the awesome things actually that are there. So you can look at Minecraft edu dot com, and you'll get a whole range of different things that you could actually um, utilize. So from maps to purchasing, obviously Minecraft, and then it gives you a little bit more control if you're um, wanting to do that as well. So you've got great community, there's enormous amounts there. You can collaborate with people around the world, um, play in the cloud. There's, there's some fantastic little, little things that you can do. So it's definitely worth a look and getting, um, purchasing this and getting students making, creating some really awesome things. Join the community. So it's all the things that you need to know are all through here that you can start to make and create. So I hope you found this useful and please, Make some comments or anything along those lines on the blog.